My name's Dave. I'm Tara. We're the Thirsty, Thirsty Thrifters. Thrifters. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I got a drink. I forgot. You didn't look at you didn't look at me in the eyes. Thank you. Yes. Uh, we make videos about selling online on Poshmark part time. We're part time resellers. My Poshmark closet name is Tara Stutes, all one word. Tara Stutes. Nope. But we are adding. Oh, let, let him do the wine thing first. We're drinking wine as usual. Tonight we're having Folk and Fable Red Blend. Mm -hmm. This is from our wine subscription box through Bright Sellers, which hopefully is linked below if you're interested in trying a wine subscription. Like we enjoy it. it. And what, am I, what was I going to say? We are going to do a What's Old video from January 11th through the 20th, and we are adding an eBay. How I'm many listing. Items do we have? A lot. I'm I'm listing a little more on eBay, so I'm going to start including what sells on eBay. There may be random things in here that I will show and then just scoot right over because my son sells on my eBay account, and that's where all the Funko Pop sales come from. There aren't any in this one. Funko I think we have I think we have 58 total in this 10 day period. As part-time resellers and to give you a reference I have about 400 active listings and I I sell a lot I, I don't know why I sell a lot of my Tara sells a lot I take a bunch of packages <laughs> to the post office so this is an average of 5.8 items per day that's it a seems lot. like more than that because <laughs> well because you take I a take bunch 20, on Mondays oh yeah that's Mondays all right here we go so we're gonna switch to the sharing of the screen and we're gonna start with eBay and Dave will read the titles for you. Vintage, Towncraft, Velour, Belted Robe Bathroom, Burgundy Smoking Jacket. I don't know why it says bathroom. I think I copied that from somebody else. I don't know. So this um, actually sold for 20. I don't know how to get it to show you what it actually sold for. Um, it, I got an offer of 20 and I accepted it. And I had had this listed for a couple months before on Poshmark, and then I added it to it's, eBay. It's got Hugh Hefner written all over it. Yeah, it does. But, okay, the next thing has got a story. Jacket. Smoking jacket. I'm uh, sorry, Dave. These these actually oh, sold. Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Vintage Nikon binoculars. A uh, bunch of numbers. <laughs> A lot of details about the binoculars. Yeah, the strap and case. So this was from the guy's house that we cleaned out and sold his estate off. They did not sell in the estate. They have, this is the third time they've sold. The first time, the person did not pay. I relisted. The second time, the person returned them. Then I thought I was going to get some really nice binoculars, yeah. but then they sold again. They did sell for 55 I, That was an <laughs> offer of 55 and I got positive feedback on it. So they are in their new home, finally. And they're going to keep them? They're going to keep them. Dang. And here's the last one on this 10-day period from eBay. <laughs> That's bright. Mm -hmm. Vintage Ferris Ski Wear Color Block Ski Winter... <laughs> Retro 80s okay. jacket, coat, handle. men's large. The eBay titles can hold lots more words. Whew. And on eBay, when you search, it Just will... Just rolls right off the tongue. On eBay, when you search, it will only search the title. On Poshmark, it will search the entire description. So it's not quite as important as eBay. So maybe I'll just pick out some keywords and sure. run with that instead of... <laughs> Reading a paragraph. So these actually sold for seventy nine. The these it's a coat seventy nine ninety nine. But that was a great sale. I believe I got this at the bins. That is so eighties. I love it. All right, and that is all for eBay. So if you're wondering why I sold so many more items on Poshmark than eBay, I only have like twenty five percent of the number of items on eBay as I do on Poshmark. So that is the reason. All right. All right. Show me your moo moo. Tyson. No, I will not. <laughs> <laughs> Tyson pant, faux leather large. I got to find my listings because I was on a different app. So I got these at, when I took the girls to Plato's Closet randomly, they had some stuff that was half off. And I was like, I am sure I can sell these. Well, I didn't know how much I could sell them for. This was more than I thought. Uh, they sold the day I listed them. I think I had them listed for 75 and I took this. 
$60 offer. I paid I either six or seven dollars for them. So nice. that was that was a good deal. All right, we've got a bundle here. This is the only bundle. Amazing. The only one? Yeah. Wow. They're both mountain hardware pants. So miniature story on the mountain hardware pants is that I found six pairs at the same time. Oh, that's all nice. identical. Except this pair, I didn't realize until I got a case open that it is a short length. All the others were regular length, and this one was short, and I didn't notice. So these got returned, and I relisted them, saying they were short. And then somebody bundled the the burgundy short pair and the regular black pair that I had left. And we haggled back and forth, and they finally uh, we settled on $30 for both. So I would buy those again, uh, definitely. They all have sold now. All six pairs. Z by Zella. Mesh crop workout leggings. Black. Mm. Size extra large. These were listed at the end of December. So they were only listed a couple weeks. And I just don't remember where I got them. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It was either Ben's Day or 99 Cent Day. So they were a dollar or less. And they were an extra large. I don't usually buy Zella to resell um, just because it doesn't have a really high resale value, but it, these were extra large. That's why. And it, that was a full price sale. So I would do it again for extra large, yeah. Here's a Ivory Ella. Ivory Ella t-shirt, long sleeve cotton, tea, beige. These were listed in the middle of January. So they, I think they sold it. I keep saying they. It's a shirt. They. I think it sold in a couple days. And it was either full price or very close. And it was from the bins. All three of those things are good. I would I would buy this again at the bins. What's next? Don't remember these at all. Lucky brand Lolita skinny distressed jeans 1231. These were listed in the middle of November. So they took a couple months to sell. I just don't remember where I got them. In general, I'm, it's going to be 99 cent day or the bins unless I stay otherwise. Because I would I would never pay full price for Lucky Brand jeans for women. Men's jeans, maybe. But not for women. So I would buy them again if they were that cheap. Yes. Zara Textured Weave. Bird's eye suit jacket, 40 blue. This was purchased at the bins. I remember that. And I thought, no, I didn't know for sure if it was men's. It doesn't say men on the tag, and men's usually do, but the size was 40, so it's got to be. Is that supermodel that just died? I, what? I don't think supermodels are modeling no, for Zara. Some, oh. Well. So this was a full price sale, and then they opened a case, and... It was the most vague case ever. They said it did not. it's not the quality that it was shown in the pictures or something. They denied that case so fast, like in a couple hours, and I got my money. So it, was the weirdest, it was the weirdest case I've had. Because that jacket was, like, brand new. It was perfect condition. It was weird. I would buy it again, I guess. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> hope, hope, hopefully not have a case the next time. Yeah. All right. Coldwater Creek gray hooded sweater vest, large. Uh, given to me by my mom and uh, not listed very long, <laughs> under a week. I don't usually buy Coldwater Creek because my mom gives me enough to sell. So, but you you let me know if you can sell Coldwater Creek. I'm talking to the the, the you out there, not you. Um, because I normally don't buy it, but this sold fast. I always look, see those and I'm like the hoodie. Factory ran out of sleeves one day. <laughs> <Shut> <laughs> I just started selling these instead. All right. All right. Bowden Eldon cardigan sweater polka dot blue green. I love buying and selling Bowden. If it's got like a print to it, if it's plain, it's a harder sell. Um, so I think I got this at half off day one time. So I would have paid two dollars. It was listed just about a week. And that was an offer to Likers, one of the first ones I sent. So, yes, I'd buy that again. It was slow on the click today. 
Yeah, I was thinking about that wine. <laughs> it's made in California. Okay. BP Varsity Stripe Sweater Blue Gold Medium. For just at the bins, it was BP, listed. like British Petroleum? You said that last time. It stands for Brass Plum. It's from Nordstrom's. Oh. <clears throat> or Nordstrom. I don't, it's not Nordstrom's. It's just Nordstrom. And we got it well, at the bins. there's two of them. Then you could call it Nordstrom, but that's like saying I'm I'm going to uh, Nordstry. Marshes. Everybody used to them. call this grocery store in our town Marshes, and it's just Marsh. <laughs> marsh. I'm going to Marshes. Uh, so anyway, got this at the bins just because it was cute. I knew it wouldn't be a high dollar sale, but it it did sell in just a couple weeks for twelve bucks. Twelve so bucks is twelve bucks. Maybe I'd buy that again at the the outlet, but that's about it. It's got to be low low price. See if you recognize this. Anthropology moth anchor cardigan sweater red. Yeah, I do remember that. I got this off Mercari to wear to a very fancy dinner in Chicago. And it was like a one time only thing because I don't wear red. It was just a one time. Fancy dinner. It had to go with the dress I'd gotten that was 99 cents. And so this went with the dress. And I paid, I think, $20, so I got almost all my money back after fees. So wore yes. it one time and made almost my, all my money back. If you see that again, you know, yeah, Moth does pretty well, and it's a it's a cute style. It's an older one, but it still sold really fast, like a day or two. All right, what's next? J. Crew Black Suede Leather Smoking Loafers Shoes. Do you remember the smoking loafers? <laughs> Because we looked that up when we unboxed them. This was in the Thread Up shoe rescue box that we did. Put my what? loafers on so I can go smoke. So you can smoke. They sold in less than a week for $22. I would probably get those again if I saw them, but that they were sent to us from Thread Up. The cost for that would have been $6. So we made our money back. I have made all the money back from that box. Already? Yeah. Huh. <laughs> That's pretty quick. Deep thoughts with Dave. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Caught me off guard there. <laughs> <laughs> Which isn't hard to do. <laughs> Vintage cream white. Cream white. They're creamy white. Creamy white. Then do creamy white, not cream white. Nobody searches for creamy for leggings. <laughs> okay, they're stirrup pants. Let's move on. So I got these, I think, at 99 cent day. And I was just sure that stirrup pants were going to be more popular than they turned out to be. The comps were not good. It was not really a brand. Did I have it as the limited? Why does it say the limited? It says the limited. That's an accident. Uh, it shouldn't be the limited. Uh, so they were listed for um, a month and a half and sold for $13. So I probably won't venture into that again unless they're really cool stirrup pants. I wonder how many people search for creamy white stirrup pants. I'm going to guess none, Dave. This is one you found. And oh, I was yeah. I didn't think it'd sell. It sold. $12. White House Black Market <laughs> crochet sleeve top. Well, it was under a week, so that's a wow. good thing. I like when they sell fast. It was an older style, so I couldn't find a oh, and this and the tag was cut out, so I couldn't find a stock photo or a name of the sweater or anything. But it still sold quick. White House Black Market is very hit or miss. You never know. It could sell really fast. It could never sell. So you do that one again? I think I would buy that again. I think so. These are cool. Boggs, women's Northampton blue waterproof boots. These are from the Benz. They were listed a couple weeks, maybe three weeks. And I think I had them for 50 and I got a $40 offer, so I accepted that right away. That's cool. They got that's my second, handles. Yeah, that's my second pair of Boggs, and they they both sold pretty fast for near full price. So I'm, I'm on the Boggs train. The Boggs I'm on board train. with Boggs. <laughs> Athleta two in one cuteness black skirted leggings extra small. How'd you sell those? How did I sell them? Extra small is hard to sell it. They are. They 
are going to be a, a longer amount of time to sell, and probably the dollar amount will be less. So these were listed um, uh, b about a month and a half, but I didn't have to ever relist them. And they were in good shape. So I would buy them again. Athleta, I am picky. If it's extra small, I'm picky. But skirted leggings are very popular. I should start putting the word modest. I heard that modest people like the skirted leggings, which makes sense. People that don't want to show off their assets. <laughs> black Nike dry fit athletic running shorts. Black. Mm, where did we get these? Emphasis on the black. I think we got these at the bins, and they sold real what quick. What color are they? They're black and orange. They were listed like a week, and I, it was an offer to Likers, and they, they accepted I knew it wouldn't be a huge dollar sale, but I figured it'd be fairly quick, and it was. Twelve bucks. Almost positive those are from the bins. What's next? I remember this, too. This is weird looking. Soft surroundings. Manchester plaid button up top maybe this isn't the one i was thinking of. it was a 3x i paid full no, price for this, this at my goodwill because it was plus size and it was unique and had a lot of embellishment it took about a month to sell this and which was longer than i thought it would but it sold for 24 dollars. soft surroundings if it's plus size i almost always will buy it because it will almost be guaranteed to sell Almost always, almost guaranteed. I, I can't say always and guaranteed. I'm not going <laughs> to give absolutes. Almost. Another time. Play on words there. Black velvet velour maxi skirt. Large. Mom gave me this to sew. <clears throat> I have no idea what another time is. It's it's nothing. Um, it was listed for a little over a month and sold for $16. So... Take that for what you will. Really? <laughs> I just try to sell everything my mom gives me. And sometimes I get surprised and it sells. Then you take that money and put it back for another time. <laughs> Soft surroundings. Turquoise. Blue. Biscayne. Biscayne cardigan. That's what they named it. This I'd had forever. Surpri well, not surprisingly. It's got nothing not special about it, really. Familiar with Biscayne. Biscayne Bay? You never heard of Biscayne Bay? Nope. This was listed since, um, what month was that? July. I had relisted it twice. I put it on eBay and I got this. No, it was an offer to Likers and somebody accepted. I was very happy. So, like I said, if it's plain and not plus size, it's going to take longer. This is a good example. But this one I was going to probably just take if nobody bought it. I can blue, always use a blue medium, medium cardigan mm. that's soft surrounding me. Oh, wow. Okay, go on. That's everything you wanted in one thing. I know. Uh. Oh my gosh. Ula Popkin, yellow, lagging look, hooded tee, 1618. Ula Popkin. This is the story of me not realizing there's two uh, brands that are named Ula. Uh oh. And this one is the wrong one. Oh no. So it's Ula. Oh no, I've forgotten. The bin pickers have mentioned it. That's who I heard it from. You got the wrong Ula? It's not Ula Popkin. Don't buy Ula Popkin. And I, when I bought it, I was like, this doesn't seem like it's really nice and worth a lot of money. It's, oh, what is it? I'm going to I'm gonna Google it. So I was, I was ecstatic to get an offer on that. Ula Johnson is the good one. Ula that sounds Johnson. a lot like Ula Popkin. It's close. Ula Johnson, like a dress from Ula Johnson, can be six hundred bucks. Don't get this one. Ula but Popkin. 14. I made my money back, and I was I was extremely glad for that. So she would not buy that one again. No, it wasn't even cute. I was just like, <clears throat> this is it, though, right? Chuck Taylor's white high tops. How are they? Win women's nine and men's nine. That would be a mistake on my part. I'm just glad they accepted them. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote it correctly in the description. Men's, men's okay. seven. I just typed it wrong up there. Well, it's equality. Men and women are equal. <laughs> well, the the system for our shoe sizes is ridiculous, so that's what I'll just say. Equality. These were in a thread-up box, too, remember? 
And I washed them. I stain treated them and washed them, and they didn't really get any better. But still, $21, $21 sale. It was um, not an offer to Likers. That was just an offer. So we made $16, and those cost us $6. Oh, Lord. Elegant moments. <laughs> Vinyl, shiny, pencil, miniskirt. Elegant moments. I'm pretty sure this is like from Cirilla's or. <laughs> that looks like stripper wear. My mom gave me this to sell. My mom. Nothing so, wrong with strippers. I'm just saying it um, looks like stripper wear. So elegant moments. I didn't. I didn't really Google it. I just listed it for fifteen. Somebody accepted my ten dollar offer with a shipping discount, and my mom got her money back. I'm sure she didn't think this is from. Cirilla's, but I think it was. Some people are into vinyl out here. <laughs> Shiny. I don't recommend buying that brand. We're, not, we're not into vinyl. <laughs> oh, goodness. Here's another one I was like, thank goodness this sold. Seychelles, mm -hmm. brown leather western cowgirl boots. Seych Seychelles is sold. I think I remember cleaning these. At Anthropology, but I don't think it's exclusively at Anthropology, so that's why I didn't list it as that. These were listed since July. They were cross posted to eBay. And this, was it an offer to Likers? Yes, it, it was an offer to Likers, and they accepted, and I was happy. Sweet. Where did we bucks? get these? I think we got them at the bins, actually, and I just thought they'd sell much faster. So, But we, we made $20 after fees. Okay. There's this weird thing. Okay, I never heard of Halsey. I don't know how you say her name. She's a singer. Okay, I never heard of her either. This was in the scam resellers stuff. Okay, and actually, if you if you search for this hat, you will find one for sale still in her closet. She hasn't <laughs> removed it. Uh, this was listed since October, um, and. I accepted a $10 offer. I was glad to see it go. I don't like selling hats. It wasn't a high dollar item. I was glad to sell it. Don't know that I'd recommend you buy it, though. The Tory mm -hmm. Navy Blue Floral Print Pajama Set. Small. I know I got this at 99 cent day at my Goodwill. Looks like, is it Oriental? Kind of. Kind of oriental vibes. <clears throat> Notori is a pretty good um, like sleepwear line. I've sold a couple things from them, and I didn't know it was that good or had a, a good following, but it does. It was listed for about a month and a half and sold with an offer to Likers. So 99 cents into 24. It's pretty good. I don't believe in sleepwear. Okay. That is true. You just wear underwear. <laughs> Just stop in bed. All right. <laughs> Brooks launch five running <laughs> shoes. Gray, white, eight. Um, I think I got these at my Goodwill, I think. I've so I used to wear 36. Brooks shoes when I was a runner. And I've just recently seen a lot come to the thrift stores and not in horrible shape. And they're selling well for the price we pay for shoes, it's like five bucks. And they're consistently selling for 30 to 50. So these were listed for less than a week. And uh, somebody accepted my offer to Likers. So if Brooks, if you find Brooks in good shape, check the tread and make sure it's not worn down. I would recommend buying them because they, they have a good following and they're good shoes. And your stores, if they mark up stuff like Nike, they don't necessarily know Brooks a lot of times. Columbia Adventure Bound Top Blouse Purple. This is from the reseller stuff, but it is one I would have purchased at the bins. It took four months to sell, though. I'll buy Columbia at the bins for sure because Columbia is a very well-known brand and it will eventually sell. But not a high-dollar item, but consistent. What is next? Justin Gypsy? Justin is the name, and I think Gypsy was the style. Oh, okay. I'm like, who's Justin, <laughs> Justin Gypsy? Justin Boots. Justin Boots. <laughs> Leather cowboy boots, pink, brown, nine and a half. I 
Pretty sure I paid full price for these, actually, and that was probably a mistake. Why did I pay full price? How much I mean, I made my money back. That would have been seven dollars at my Goodwill. They were listed for two months, though, and they. I'm seeing like comments on these um, five star ratings that I've never read before, and I always look at the comments. It's weird. She said she needed some affordable work boots. I got five stars though. Oh. Anyway, we made twenty dollars after all the fees. Um, I've sold Justin boots a couple times, even in worse shape than this. These just took a little longer than I thought they would, I guess. Justin Gypsies. Justin Gypsies. That's... Oh, this is yours. Abercrombie and Fitch plaid flannel shirt. Extra large. Do you remember when I made you clean out your closet? He's thanked me for making him clean out his closet like three times. <laughs> because he forgets what he has. And I've sold... I found a bunch of stuff I forgot about. I've sold two of your items already and made like 40 bucks, so... So this was listed... This was sold the day I listed it, amazingly enough. It was listed for 15 It was just Abercrombie and Fitch. And that's one thing... That's one brand that I think people mispronounce. I'm not sure. Aber, Abercrombie? I think you just did. It's Abercrombie, right? Or maybe it's... What's the other brand that <sighs> my daughter always tells me I say wrong? What's another mall brand? Uh, the Aero Aero Postal is that how you say it? I always oh. say that wrong, and my daughter's like, "That's not how you say it." <laughs> but I never shopped there in high school. I was I was, I was too Aeropostle. large to shop there. It's Aero Postal. I, I, I think know. I say Aero <clears throat> Postal because that sounds fancy. I thought it was Aero Postal, but you know, Target, us, Target, whatever. Let us, well, that's different. We know that one. <laughs> Anyway, I don't know that I'd say buy that to resell, but I'm glad we made a couple bucks from Dave's stuff. Uh, classic Cardi boots, gray sweater boots, six. I put boots twice. Boots and boots. <laughs> At least there's two boots. Um, these are from the bins, I'm pretty sure. And they were listed a, about three weeks and sold for $32. I'll buy Uggs in good shape at the bins all day long because they don't weigh much. So, all day long. All day long. They weigh literally nothing. No, not literally. <laughs> Claire Sun Wu Cow Neck Rib Sweater Gray Large. We had this in a haul video, so I don't remember where I got it. It was either 99 cents or from the bins, because that's the only time I'm going to take a chance on a brand I'm not positive about. I said my mom, my mom gave me a pair of lounge pants from this brand to wear, and they sold fast, and I was amazed. So... This didn't sell as fast. It was about about five weeks or so, but still, it turned my a dollar at the most into eleven dollars of profit. There's some woo. Oh my gosh, this bag. Steve Madden floral print crossbody bag purse. So this. It's a bag purse. This was from the scammer reseller stuff, and I am nearly positive this was her purse. <laughs> because it had her like ID and stuff in it, oh. not like not like her driver's license. It was like an old um, student ID or something. No, it was from a place of business. I I can't uh -oh. remember where. So it was an old like work ID in there. I'm pretty sure this bag would get a bunch of likes and nobody would buy it. I relisted it twice. I put it on eBay. It always had like 25 likes. And then this last time I relisted it and I got an offer for $15. I'm like, yes, get it out of here. Get so, it out. It was, like, this is my kind of style of purse also. Like, I would have worn that, but. So I kept saying when I was passing a kidney stone, get out. <laughs> get out. Good story. Joseph Ribkoff? Mm-hmm. Maxi rib gray zippered skirt. Joseph Ripkoff, I don't even know what to compare this brand to. It's it's like a high high end brand. I don't know, like Eileen Fisher maybe in that realm, but not very you know not very stylish. This was an older one, and it was I just like the style. It was a full length maxi in the. It had a huge slit up the front, and it unzipped in the front. It's Canada? Made I don't know. In Canada? That one's made in Canada. So that's why I bought it more for style. I don't really buy all the Joseph Ribkoff I ever see. Um, this took 
two full months to sell. It was cross posted to eBay. I don't know if I'd buy it again. I mean, it's it's interesting, but I don't know that I'd buy it again. Kind of needs modeled, and I'm not modeling anything. Piranha. Yeah. Bikini bathing suit. Atlantic sea glass medium. <laughs> sea glass. It's the name <clears throat> of the print. It's called Atlantic Sea Glass. So I started listing a few of my bathing suits, the ones that were like uh, athletic brands, like Prana. And this one sold, I think, the day I listed it wow. for thirty six bucks. I was excited to find it. It was in really good shape. You would get that again. I would get that again. I think I paid four dollars for it. So. Nine West Brown Down <laughs> Downfield Puffer. Brown down filled puffer. Where did I get this? Bins are 99 cents. That's the only times I'd buy Nine West. Um, and it was listed for two full months and sold for $16. I don't know that I'd get it again. It's like very plain. It's nice quality, but it's very I was plain. I say, you need more wine the way you're holding that glass. Yeah, it's, it's empty. Can you tell? Oh, these next ones. <laughs> Thank you. Right. Move on. Oh, Converse White Wild Mango High Top Sneaker Size 4. These were our, I gave them to Annie. I distinctly remember buying them at the East Washington Street Goodwill it's with like, Annie, and she claimed them, and I don't think she ever wore them. Watercolor. They do look like water. I think I named it. No, I didn't. Wild say that. Mango instead of watercolor. That's the name of the print. Oh. That I found online. So they were not in the best shape. Cool. The, they were supposed to be, I think, white, and they were more creamy. <laughs> but <laughs> Dirt colored. They were just pulled from my daughter's closet because she couldn't wear them anymore. She's she's outgrown them. They were listed for about three weeks or so and sold for 14 So I made my money back because I think I paid five bucks for them. All right, next is a belt. I hate belts. Me too. Beaded, <laughs> braided, boho, hippie, black, and tan belt. <laughs> my mom gave me this. My mom loves belts. I hate belts. I don't know how to sh to show belts properly. Like, I put them on the mannequin, but still, I don't know. Looks good. Give me your belt tips for when I have to list belts. Um, but it sold, yeah, it sold for $12. It took two months to sell. I, I wouldn't buy that belt again. It had no brand or anything. It's just a... My mom doesn't care about brands. She cares about quantity, volume of clothing she has. She has to have everything in every color. All right. All right, what's next? Yay. Franco Starto. Sarto. Sarto. <laughs> Starto. Starto your engines. <laughs> Franco Sarto Harlow. <laughs> Franco Sarto Harlow. Black suede leather loafers. Look like smoking shoes to me, but what what do I know? I got these at my Goodwill because they're in really good condition, and I like the bars. I think we had them in a, in a haul. I like the little metal uh, bar-looking pieces on the top. So then we got our thread-up box, and we got like four or five pairs of black loafers after this, but luckily they sold. I was thinking maybe it was a mistake that I purchased them, but they did sell. They took about a month to sell. And I paid five dollars, and they sold for eleven, or I got eleven dollars in profit. We're nearing the no, we're not nearing the end. We have like ten left. <laughs> Come on. Calia, Carrie Underwood, cut out back, long sleeve top. Oh, it's cut out back. The, the back <laughs> is cut out. I'm like, what's back long? I don't know what back long cut out is. back. The, these are listed for these. This was listed for about a month and a half. I. Do you not remember where I got it? Maybe at the bins. I don't pay much for Calia tops, especially when they don't have a size. Was this the one that yeah, didn't have a size? Maybe it did. And half the back is cut oh, out. Oh, it, it did have the size, but the tag had ripped off. Not that tag. There's another tag. But I'm like, I see a tab right there. That's the the uh, other tag. Where is the tag? I mean, I put no in tag. the picture. There was a tag. It was tagged as a medium, but I accidentally ripped it off. No tag. So, Calia, good workout brand. Like that brand. Like that brand. Keep going. 
Yes, Lola blue chunky knit fuzzy boucle boucle sweater. I'm pretty sure I got this at the bench. No, it was 99 cent day. It was 99 cent day. Just because it was cute, it was fuzzy, and it was a size large. So all those things helped. I knew it wouldn't be a big dollar sale, but it was only listed for about three weeks and sold for $14. Oh, my boucle. All right, what's next? Oh, yeah, these. New tags, soft surroundings. Uh, pal Paloma. Paloma. Palm pants. Aqua. I could tell a really long story with these pants. Oh but boy! I won't. It's I got I love them. Long I stories. got them from ThreadUp. I didn't pay much because I had a lot of points to use. I got them for myself, and then um, they're like real sturdy feeling. They're not like loungy feeling. So I Too didn't sturdy. even I didn't even try them on. I'm like I'm never gonna wear these. So I I listed them and they and they sold really fast for twenty eight bucks. I didn't pay near twenty eight dollars for them. So made a profit. Wasn't Too trying sturdy. to, but Too sturdy for Tara. Too sturdy. Tommy, he'll figure spell out heart sweatshirt size medium. This was from <clears throat> the resellers. We're gonna be almost done with the reseller stuff. Well, except she. I put her summer stuff aside. Oh, here I'll we go. Be listing that. Anyway. We'll be hearing about it for I don't, six months. I don't buy Tommy Hilfiger anymore because it sells so slowly, unless it's just outlandishly huge logo that says Tommy or something. I don't buy it's it. It's got to be the spell out. I mean, this is even spell out, and it took four and a half months to sell. I tried to take it to Plato's Closet, and they wouldn't take it. And I sold it, and I got $7.93 eventually after five, four and a half months, whatever I said. Five I'm four. real careful with Tommy now. <laughs> that sounds weird to say. It should. <laughs> Sorry. Note. Nayote. Note. I think it's Nayote. Nayote. Rungo. <laughs> Slingback. Mary Jane Loafers, 39. Rungo. I bought these at my Goodwill for full price because they were in excellent condition. And I know this brand. It's like a comfort shoe brand. And it has like the um, orthotic kind of insert. I don't know if you can see it very well in any of my pictures. Like the high arch insert. You still can't oh. see it. Uh, but yeah, they were in very, very good shape. That's why I got them. And I was actually shocked they sold so fast. For 35 For 35 nice. And I believe that was full asking price or close to it. Yeah, it was like under a week they were listed. So Very that, distinct. That's a good track. comfort brand. Naot or N-A-O-T or however you want to say that. N-A-O-T sounds. Please, someone from that company, let me know how you say it. <laughs> what is next? Oh, okay. I remember this. Zara Knit Pleather. Two-tone open front cardigan. I got this at my um, little consignment shop in town. It was on the $2 clearance section. The one that's over there by Marsh's? <laughs> Marsh's no longer exists, but yes, you know the one I'm talking about. I paid $2. It was listed less than a week, and this I, was an offer to me, and I accepted So I made $19 after fees. I'm very careful with Zara. It has to be interesting in some way and this was brand new with tags so that helped carhartt flame resistant dark navy blue shirt you found this do you remember no. showing it to me we were at goodwill and you're like that's a carhartt shirt right there oh it was hanging on the end of something oh okay so i paid full price for it which was flame like resistant four dollars for all the fire bugs out there and then i found out the f R on the label means flame resistant. I didn't know that existed. That's for accident prone people. <laughs> I don't know. Last I don't know I who wears fire shirt resistant on. stuff, but it was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> when did you did you catch your shirt on fire? No, we caught a dish towel on fire once. I'm just kidding. So it was a full price sale actually, and it was not listed long, like a week. So this, yet again, I'm full on the Carhartt boat. What, what's the phrase we use? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just thinking 
this guy's got a trip to hell or what? Like, I got to wear my. You don't think there are people that get close to flames? Maybe he's a welder. Maybe. Oh, okay. There you go. Okay, that's practical. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Stunt man shirt. In case my car blows up. There's a whole line of this stuff. I'm going to wear my flame-resistant shirt in case my car happens to explode. Okay, let's go on. I have not had any food, and I've had two glasses of wine, so I'm nearing my limit. I'm in the same boat. Coherency. The Carhartt boat. No. Tiki sand palm print hot pant leggings medium. I know I got these at my Goodwill. I paid full price of $4. I got them home and found a stain on them, and then I got it out. And they were listed for less than a week, and this is a full price sale. Tiki is, show the Tiki tag. If you find these leggings, they don't feel good. Like, they don't feel high quality. They feel like somebody bought them on Wish. Like it's from straight from China. Right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure they're made in China. Like they don't feel made with high love quality in the U.S. Oh, they are made in in, in solar, solar powered, powered buildings. buildings. This is why they're expensive. Probably. That's pro- probably why they have a following. I think so, we just figured out why they're. But the you're not gonna find these by feel. They're not gonna feel high quality. Just in case you find them and you're like, are, are you sure Tiki are going to sell for a bunch? They won't. Oh, it's I've because sold they're, every pair. they're made of 79% recycled whatever P, P, PET is. I, I don't know what it is either right off the Hopefully top of my head. Hopefully it's not pets. No, it's not. It's got periods after it. It's an abbreviation. Recycled pets. <laughs> <laughs> I did not um, hang dry either. As the tag said, I, I put them in the Hang dry. All right. This Foot- was yours. Oh, yeah. Foot Locker Premium Fleece Jacket Hoodie Gray XL. That was a nice one. I just had so many, I had to get rid of some. He has a lot of hoodies. And Foot Locker's like the lowest quality when you have these days. I, know. I got like North Face now, so. Um. So, yeah, that was from his closet. I'm pretty sure I got that at the little, the same consignment shop near the Marshes. Marshes? <laughs> it's sold, marshes it sold really fast. For, it was like less than a week for $13. I don't think I'd say pick up a Foot Locker to sell. It w- I mean, if you want one, they're nice. They're very to wear, comfortable. To wear, sure, but yeah. not to sell. Very comfortable. We're down to like seven more, guys. Lucky Brand Carthy? That's the style name. Okay. I'm like, Kathy's. Okay. Black Perforated Loafers, nine and a half. Box. They got holes all in them. There's you don't a want to wear these in the in, rain. There's a chance these were in our thread up box. I think so. Okay, because I would have bought these anyway, but I don't remember doing so. So I think we got these in our thread up box. So they would have cost us six dollars. They were listed for like a week or two, and sold for with an offer to likers. So we profited thirteen eighty eight. So we doubled our money. Oh. All right. What's next? Eddie Bauer Women's Polar Fleece Lined Pants Gray. I think I got these at 99 cent day, and I knew they didn't have a size in them, but they they were Eddie Bauer, and they were very soft fleece lined on the inside. They felt really nice. They were good quality pants, and they actually got quite a, I don't know. I don't know how many I likes. I those are warm. But they, and they were a larger size. They would have, they would have fit me, but I didn't try them on. So good sale. Only listed for a week and a half or so and sold for 24 bucks. All right. Don't sleep on Eddie Bauer. Cuddle dads. <laughs> Don't sleep on Eddie Bauer. Please. He doesn't like them. Cuddle dads, black plush velour lounge pants. You may have heard this before. This is a pair of pants I bought for myself and I didn't like the way they felt. <laughs> <laughs> These were just too, too like low rise for me. She's Although it says the rise is 11 inches. I don't know. Something about them, something about about them felt weird. I think I paid four bucks for them thinking they'd you know, fit me well, and I just didn't like them. So I got my money back. I can't believe she kept me. I heard somebody say that Cuddle Duds is like one of the most popular brands right now on Poshmark. Like oh. it's not going to be high dollar sales because they're just like loungewear or pajamas. But that's what everybody's doing now, lounging and sleeping. 
Oh, I've sold. Sense. I've sold them like. Yeah, we're not selling like a bunch of business attire. Right. I'm not even trying. No, not neither. even listing it. Everybody's waiting. I'm gonna wait a few more months. <laughs> All right. These are these Nike are Nike women's story. gray free. Are in 2018 shoes. Eight and a half. This is the sad story is, of the shoes I got in the um, thread up box that I wanted to keep. And I what's wore so them. sad about it? Didn't fit. I wore them oh. for five minutes and they were too big. They're an eight and a half. I'm an eight. My foot was just sliding too much. She's particular. And I do things. a lot of jumping. She's a jumper. So I listed them. I got we, an offer for. We got a jumper. They were actually <laughs> listed for 50, which was a little high probably, but I got a $30 offer. In within a couple weeks, and I took them. So we paid six dollars because they were from that box, that and we made twenty four. That was one of the good shirts from that box. Yeah. Rag and bones, skinny jeans, gray, Surrey, with holes. Yeah, believe it or not, that's the style name, with holes. Like that's in the style. Surrey with holes. Surrey with holes. Whoa. Okay, but I, I went with it. We got these at the bins, I remember, and they were more worn than usually I buy for jeans, but they're ragged bone. I had relisted them once, and they sold right after I relisted them for full price. So I, I'll buy rag and bone if it's not too expensive because it's kind of hit or miss. It's going to be a slow sale most of the time. Used to be, I'd be super excited to find... Rag and bone, and now it's like, well, is it half off? Bummer. Bummer. Gymshark Ombre Seamless Workout Leggings, Inc. I got these right next to those Tiki leggings the same day. I paid four dollars for them. Seamless. Huh? I had gone I had gone like years without finding a single Gymshark item Looks and now like found several. They're called seamless leggings. Like, okay. there's no seams anywhere else. Like the okay. whole, the whole butt and. <laughs> gotcha. Explain to me how you'd make a pair of leggings without a single seam in it. Explain. I don't know, but I wouldn't claim I had seamless They're leggings. They're just called seamless if leggings. If I hadn't done it. <laughs> They're called seamless. I would never call them seamless. There's no seam on. Like up the front or you up the butt crack or yeah. up the sides. There's you no have to stand there as they knit around your body. Oh, is that that's that how, how they you do make it? seamless? Okay. There's they're the seamless kind. Everybody understands that works out. These were listed for let's see, January. Oh, not very long. But they have you can see they have twenty seven likes. I just kept getting a like, 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 and I'd send the offer and nobody would accept. Finally, one person did. But that was a lot of likes until, like, in a short amount of time. I would definitely buy those again. Gymshark is very popular. It's not the um, dollar value that you're going to get for, like, Lululemon leggings, but they're very popular. Two more. Two more. They can see that, but Joe Boxer, tan black logo fanny pack. You remember how much I told you this was a cool fanny pack? And look, it sold quick. Okay, who is the person that buys from us the most? Whose name have I said a lot? Um, He's not going to remember because he doesn't have the connection with his viewers and buyers that I do. Does the name Bethel ring a bell? Yeah. She, <laughs> she just bought this full price one day. And I commented, I was like, did you do this on purpose? <laughs> <laughs> I got a good eye for some fanny packs. I think she felt sorry for you and just wanted to be in the video. Thank you. And and make you feel validated for your choice. Well, she did an excellent I like job. it. I, I mean, I would. Do, are you I would using, proudly wear Joe, Joe Boxer. I think she just got it. Are you using it yet? I think I hope she so. just got it. I Thank love you, Beth, with fanny packs. yet again for purchasing from us. And validating Dave's choices. It takes a lot of moxie to wear a fanny pack. I don't know. We went to our uh, local uh, amusement park one time and counted fanny packs, and it was a it was a large number, like a well, hundred. It was like a hundred fanny packs that day. 
that was at the um, Kings Island. Kings Island. Yeah, yeah, I remember that counting. <laughs> we count things when we're out. We, count we like to count pregnant women, at fanny packs, pregnant women at IKEA. IKEA. That's a game. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, we we count the uh, hipster buns. Oh yeah, that was at, at a concerts. concert. Yeah, we do that at every concert. We do. You get two points if they have the beard <laughs> and the bun. <laughs> okay, last thing, exciting. All right, Nike Victory Shape Dry Fit Sports Bra Pink XL. Finish strong. I don't remember where I got. <laughs> Okay, we had it listed about a month. I thought it would sell a lot faster because it's an XL. And are my words slurring? Are they okay? We need, we need dinner. We need to have some fun. Okay, it's an XL. I'm pretty sure I got Get it together. at the bins because I don't really buy sports bras anywhere else because they're too expensive. Um, We're cheap dates. I think it was a $20 listing. They offered me $15. I took it immediately. And that's the end of that story. Okay. Good story. Go back to our regular screen oh, so yeah. they can see our whole faces. Oh, whoa. There we are. So before I forget, I just want to throw this out there. If I still have it going on, because hopefully we'll get this video uploaded soon. I'm doing, I'm trying to clear out some of the bulk stuff I've bought lately, um, which will be another video coming. So I put up really cheap mystery boxes if any of you are interested. And it's not just reseller boxes. You can tell me, like, your size, and I'll pick things in your size and send it to you. And the listing says, like, 7 to 12 items, and it's 10 bucks, you know, plus the Poshmark shipping. But, you know, with tax and shipping, it'll be $20 or less, I think. And you're going to get whatever, but 7 to 12 items. But we have a lot of boxes of stuff that we have set aside to take, you know, to like Plato's Closet or Clothes Mentor or send to Thread Up. But I haven't been able to send a box to Thread Up in six months. And, and I've given up now on trying. Closet and they didn't take much. Mentor. We're going to have a whole video so on stuff. that stuff. That's our next video, actually. Oh, is that what we're doing? We'll get to talk about that soon. All right, cool. That is a really good video coming up. All right. Can't wait. Um, but if you, if you um, care to have one of my mystery boxes, hungry, I'll send you good stuff. You just have to, I'm going to try to keep it as the top listing in my closet. Go to my Tara Suits closet. It should be right there. It's like stripey black and white. Catches the eye. And if you, you have to comment your size. So you can also comment, hey, I saw your video and that's what I'm buying. And I'll send you extra good stuff then if you're a viewer. Ooh, extra good stuff. If you're not a viewer, then tough luck. Then I send you the stained red. No. <laughs> no. Don't we say cut that. that stuff up and make it rags. We have tons of rags. Yeah. So thank you all for watching our What's Old video. This has been long enough. We're ready to have dinner so we can be coherent again. You're not even looking at the camera. <laughs> I'm looking at the stop recording button. <laughs> No, not because I'm just so ready to eat. It's just because I it's hard to see from over here. It is because you're ready to eat. I am ready to eat. All right. Thank you all for watching. Good night.